This is for Governor Hogan, Peter Francott, and Brian Frosch. I need a federal and state audit. Jake Davis, James Hammond, Brother Insurance, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, Paul Weinblatt participated in fraud. I was kidnapped by the state of Illinois in 2004. I was held for 186 days. Just like the movie Belly, don't drop the soap, Jake. While I was locked up, I kept a jailhouse diary. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. I've been an activist since 1986. We talking about the violence in America? Nobody wants to address the war on drugs. N62528, it's a precedent setting case. I won that case on appeal. Scott Schellenberger knew that, but Scott Schellenberger used that case to get an indictment at the grand jury. They also used that case in Illinois to hold me for 186 days. This is Richard Scher from Hard Look. I did a story on me on Hard Look when I first got, came here to Maryland in 1997. I was making a movie and I got everything I need on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Social media for social change. That's At Kai Jackson. Park, Kai Jackson know all about this. Story. Fox okay. 45. Okay. He wasn't famous. Mary Mubala. Kai, we're showing you the story tonight because drug dealers, many of whom end up in prison or in the morgue, can find another way. An honest way if it's so desired. In the war on drugs. Change your product. Don't change your hustle. I've been doing this since 1997. I've been in the twice for Class X felonies. I'm not trying to be a three-time loser, so this is my last chance to do it right. And I'm trying to take advantage of it. And is Dwayne Shorty Davis making it big? Shorty's picnic rib shack is an extremely popular stop for lunch, all made possible with the help of Windy Valley owner Buddy Feldman, who saw in Shorty someone special. What a difference from his days in Chicago. I sold drugs. Um, I hustled. I, anything that came along the way. I never robbed anybody, I never stole anything from anybody. I um, never killed anybody. Uh, other than that, I'm still alive and God's blessing. Among Shorty's blessings, his wife Margaret and six very bright children, ranging in age from 8 to 20. Sierra, who's 9, and Gerald, 13, work for their dad. He's a nice dad. He works, he works hard. He works a long time. He spends a lot of time with us. He works with us. He, he teaches us how to make money to save money. He's a good father. He's, he's taking care of all his kids. And he's become very successful with his business. And I'm proud that I'm working for him. You know, I always hear about black males in America, not just Baltimore, but all across America. The only thing we're doing is dropping out of school and filling up the penitentiaries. Somebody got to make a change there. The right. Somebody got to make a change to that. Month of February. All right, that's from Portland for February. This video to Ms. Humphreys to be admitted as that's parole and probation, Ms. Humphreys. I made a stop snitching video. Behind the stop snitching video, I made a snitching video. Everybody talked about Martin we talked about Martin Luther King's birthday. Video and y'all talk about the time is always right to do the right thing. Well, it's time now to do the right thing and free Shorty. You need to let me go. And this movie and this documentary is out on the streets. I'm going to start and tell you about what I'm about. I'm about family and community. And this is my family. I'm not coming back to the state of Illinois unless you got my brother, William Davis, escorting me. He works for the FBI. I want an armed guard to take me to court. I want an armed guard to make sure I don't end up dead before my trial. Y'all tried to kill me. Y'all put guns to my head. Y'all came in my house. Y'all took property from me. I took a physical. I took a physical before I went to Illinois. I got everything that I need. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We this is Shorty's voice. All right, that's Shorty's voice. That's my channel. These are my videos at Shorty's voice. 
That's about the war on drugs. That's the Department of Justice. That's the FBI when y'all came to my house. Not the FBI, but Baltimore City Police Department came to my house. I reported it you to the FBI. This is my videos. That's Rob fixing me. Like I said, we was making a movie. This is Legal Mail. Department of Justice got that. That's my complaint to the Department of Justice. Alan Locks, Rod Rosenstein, Eric Holder. It's about your prison industry. That's Jeff Session, Congressman Cummings, the 13th Congressional, the 113th Convening of the C Congress. That's Eric Holder. And that's Fox 45 in the Stop Snitching video. These are people in my store talking about, these are people in my store. And that's the toilets. All right. Like I said, I was making a movie about y'all. Shorty's voice. And right here. Yeah, that's Fox 45. Right here. Portraits of a letter. Stop lying. Nobody wanted to take the challenge. Not that's Steve, Bill O'Reilly. Not Brian Williams. Not the Baltimore Sun. We talking about the Baltimore role the media plays in misinformation. Address this issue. Hannity, Glenn Beck, dude, you got mad because Bush had known about the CI videotapes. Bush knew about these videotapes. I'm trying to give y'all a lesson before dying, because I ain't trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, die or whatever, whatever. But I ain't scared of death, man, for real. And like I said, I got the O'Malley tapes. And O'Malley, you, you've been knowing about me since 11. These are the Did O'Malley tapes. Before bed really help you you burn feel me? These are the O'Malley tapes. Two weeks? If you are struggling to lose weight, that's me. That's the first dollar I made. You feel me? People are burning. That's the first dollar I made. That's Ivan Bates. He running for state's attorney's office, but Ivan Bates knew all about this. Ivan Bates wouldn't take my case. Ivan Bates knew all about this. It's about the killing of our kids, the war on drugs, the violence in these streets. That's 2007. That's the diary. That's the jailhouse diary. I'm the founding member of the Baltimore Block. I work with Kelly Davis, Free Keith Davis. You feel me? I'm a grassroots organization. I'm a grassroots activist. Release all material to the voters in 2022. That's inmate property report. That's me. I'm getting ready to cook up the Democratic Party. Delegate Smith. Delegate Clippinger. Delegate Lieberman. Yeah, Moon, I want all of your evidence put in front of the grand jury. We're going to have a town hall, a community in crisis. That's 1402 Lochner. That's Roland Martin, TV One, Radio One. This is in 2008, all right? That's a legal notice. Like I said, I'm a jailhouse lawyer. I ain't a jailhouse snitch. And we're using Google for this. Google search. Google Chrome. Google Maps. Google Policy. We're using Google. Everything I got is on the cloud. Everything I've been doing since 2006 is on Google. Letters Design is on Google. The mail that I sent Governor O'Malley is on Google. The mail I sent Governor Hogan is on Google. We got Gmails and emails. AOL going to send people to jail. I fought for my son. I ain't doing this for money. I'm doing this for change. I'm the 2021 Weaver Award. I went from Baltimore's worst to Baltimore's best, and ain't nothing that you can do to stop that. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we are masking Baltimore, and you want to mask in your courts. Right here, misrepresentation of a felony. All right, you see that? Whoever has knowledge of that, you got knowledge of that. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. I'm Shorty. And that's Starbucks. Everything that Starbucks got, we're going to put on film. That's the Weaver Award. I'm in T-Bank. Weaving a Better Baltimore 2021. That's the Baltimore Arts and Promotion. And that's Alpha Justice. These are the supporters of Shorties. All right? These people support me. They support the good and the hood and the positive I bring to Baltimore. Getting ready to file my papers with Amnesty International. See that? Shorty Davis. Shorty, self-help organization with the redevelopment, re-education of the young. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. And I'm living in exile in my own country. That's Amnesty International. That's 2014. This is 2022. 
And I'm still standing. I'm still standing. On February the 6th, I applied for Martin Luther King's job. I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. It had Jake Davis on it. It had James Hammond on it. It had Brother Insurance on it. It had Bill O'Reilly on it. It had Richard Scher on it. It had the NAACP on it. Everybody that participated in shielding the corruption was on that toilet. Everybody that participated in shielding that corruption was on that toilet. So this is the 2022 session. In the 2022 session, I want justice and so you're not going to get no peace. Delegate Smith has this information. Delegate Smith needed to act on my whistleblower's application. I'm a whistleblower. I'm not a snitch. I'm going to make y'all snitch on each other. That's Dwayne G. Davis. And that's Scott Schellenberger. That's the District Court of Maryland. That's Scott Schellenberger. All right. 2-11-1402 Lockton. I was kidnapped. Kept me from blowing the whistle on criminal acts in the courts. Baltimore City, Baltimore County courts. All right. I was making a movie. And the courts got that. April 2011. I mean 2022. 2021. Man held in toilet caper. Those are the criminal charges. Those criminal charges talk about Jake Davis, James Hammond, Brother Insurance, and Bank of America. We're talking about the money behind the war on drugs. That's two or four. Application for statement of charges. All right. I filed my charges. On February the 6th, 2011, I shot footage of my movie in the Towson Courthouse. I left the toilet exposing the corruption and racism and fraud, racketeering in the courts. I'm a whistleblower. And the movie directly tied Scott Schellenberger to three violations of his office. All right. I was, in, I was supposed to be in Nevada. I was supposed to be in Las Vegas, Nevada on February the 10th, 2011. I had plane tickets. All right. I was supposed to return on February the 13th. All right. On February the 7th at 2 p.m., Scott Schellenberger had me falsely arrested at 1402 Lochner. There go the paperwork. He took a computer. 13 movies, an external hard drive, a jailhouse diary, 238 master copies of files of making, that I was making a movie. Schellenberger knowingly presented false evidence to the grand jury to get an indictment. Permitted perjury by Baltimore City Police Department, Baltimore County Police Department. I won my case. I was found innocent on all charges. Scott Schellenberger, Chief Hyatt, Greg Bernstein, Commissioner Balefield participated in this fraud and kidnapping. Chief Hyatt knows all about this. Chief Hyatt has the criminal charges. Chief Hyatt was in the room when I tested, when I gave my testimony at, at Commissioner Davis. President Obama asked for an investigation in 2008. Scott Schellenberger kidnapped me and destroyed the evidence of the investigation. Means, motives, opportunity. All right, and that's foul. That's foul. Means, motives, and opportunity. All information is needed. This is 404. This is the district court. Y'all can go to the district court and get a copy of this. You feel me? So 2022, I want what belongs to me. I was making $260,000 a year from 2008, 9, 10, all the way now. You got to compensate me for my losses. That's Ivan Bates. You running for state's attorney? You ain't no better than what Mosby is. You just trying to bring another form of corruption into the into the circle. That's a legal notice. That's a learning moment. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. I'm the best of the best in Baltimore. Remember that. Jake Davis, James Hammond, Brother Insurance, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank. I work for M and T Bank. So we need a federal and state audit. Peter Francott, Brian Frost, Governor Hogan. This is the 2022 session. I don't get no justice. Y'all not going to get no peace. I'm getting ready to sell this movie to whoever want to buy it. Baltimore Arts and Promotion. That's Job Opportunity Task Force. I mean, Out for Justice. Nicole Mundo. That's Baltimore. I'm the best that Baltimore has. Mic check.